Hello students, today we will discuss section B, this is second video. So I talk about IB mass HL, past paper 1, time zone 2, May 2018, section B. Here is my information, contact information, so you can send questions. Don't forget to subscribe and like my channel. Let's start. So, question 9, section B, about vectors. So, f uh, four points A, B, C, D have positions A, B, C, D relative to origin O. It is given that AB equals DC. Explain why ABCD is a parallelogram. So two sides are equal and parallel. So it means that we have parallelogram. So I is done. Using algebra shows that AD equals BC. From I we understand that E, so AB is B minus A, DC is C minus D. We can rearrange letters and we can get B minus A equals C minus D, which means that AD equals BC. Done. Next question. The position of vectors are given, PQ R are constant, shows that P equals 1, Q equals 1, and R equals 1. Uh, we use, again, the same relations that B minus A equals C minus D, substitute here, here. substitute the expression uh, in IGQ, IGK, and then we have for i we have this equation, for j we have this equation, and for k we have that. And from this three equations very easily we find values of k, r, and p. Next question. Find the area of parallelogram ABCD. So if we talk about two sides that come from one point AB and AC, the vector product will give us area. So we have AD and AB, sorry. So expression for AB is B minus A, for AD is D minus A. Using the expressions and knowing parameters we can find components of these two vectors. Let's call one vector u, another vector v. Here are components of these vectors. So if you look into booklet formula that has formulas, you will find very difficult formula for to find this product. Product is vector and if you substitute these components, you will get minus 11, minus 10, minus 2. We need absolute value, which is 15. Because we need area. But we keep this in mind, that we know the vector perpendicular to AB and AD. It means that it is perpendicular to the plane. And in the next question, we see all questions are linked. You are using in the next question answer that you got in the previous. V. Find the vector equation of straight line passing through M and normal to the plane P containing ABCD. So we already know the vector normal to the plane and how we construct this line. We construct this line First of all, we need to find the midpoint. Midpoint on AC is average of x's, y's, and z's. So it is 0 0.1, 1.5, one minus 0 0.5. So we construct the line this way. So it is vector that has point M plus parameter T multiplied by 
one of the normal t changes and we go along the side this way we express the line next e question e find the cartesian equation of p this is a big long story although we know the normal let's see how i do it i use straightforward so i constructed formula for plane to construct formula for plane we take one point i took point a uh, two displacement vector u and v you remember that we used u and v and two parameters a alpha and beta so alpha and beta are any parameters uh, and vector r has coordinate x y z where x y z can have any value but uh, along this links to each other along this plane so we have components of u component of v we substitute this into this vector equation we have we will have three equations for x for y and z but in this equation we have also alpha and beta so this is a system and you should get rid of alpha and beta and get one linear expression with x, y and z only how I did it? I uh, added 1 and 2 get rid of beta so I have expression of alpha in terms of x and y then I put this expression of alpha into 2 and get expression from 2 beta then I 2 beta, I don't have 2 beta in 3, so I multiply by 2, uh, w then I have 2 beta, and I substitute expression for bet 2 beta, and I finally I got 11x plus 10y plus 2z plus equals 25. As you see, this is correct because this is these are coordinates, com coordinates of normal, but we didn't have this number 25. So this is Cartesian equation of plane. Uh, next, so this plane cuts axes at point x, y, and z. Find coordinate. Very easy. So if it cuts x, it means that the rest coordinates are zero. So we can using this equation of plane, we can find x, and the same for the rest. With the rest find yz so yz is distance between point y and z so as usual we use oops sorry so we use sum of squares squared most of them are zero so we have such a strange expression which is accepted so we try to give values. Question 10. So the function is defined in this form. Find the inverse function in A. So how these questions are done? So you replace x with y and fx with x and so for y. Then you will get inverse function. Let's see how it works. So you have ratio, then you get rid of fraction, you rearrange, and finally you get another ratio. Don't forget to, r to write here f minus 1, otherwise you will be fined, so they don't like if you don't use notations that they suggested. And the domain will be so denominator should not be zero so x doesn't equal to minus a over c done the function is defined like this and sh we should rep uh, rewrite it in new form so I see that x minus 2 so uh, if I add here minus 4 
and plus 4 I will get something that can be simplified so let's see how I did it yeah so 2 plus more so a equals 2 b equals 1 uh, in double i they ask us to sketch the graph of this function so as this function the ori origin of this function is 1 over x so the difference of g is that they added 2 to y so it means that the graph moved up 2 points and they subtracted 2 from x it means that opposite direction x was moved to the right two points and we should have the say uh, asymptotes also moved let's see how the graph looks so graph looks this way um, asymptotes one vertical x equals zero another horizontal y equals zero and you see here two intercepts we should find them so we equal x zero and then y zero and we find these two intercepts This is the domain and range of composite function x and then g. So g goes under square root. It means that g should be positive. So positive g we have when x is less than 1.5 and more than 2. And x should not be equal to 0, to 2. So this is domain and range uh, so we see that g cannot be 2 and so x h will be always positive so this is the range so to find the domain we look to the graph so x less than 1.5 x more than 2 g any value except 2 hence range of h and h should be positive so positive and not equal to square root of 2 so this question is done question 11 is about logarithm so they want us to prove this so if you see logarithm get rid of it for example here I uh, raised r squared to this power and that power so when I raise to that power I get x when I raise to this power I get r squared over half so r to logarithm again x x equal x so proof let's see how it looks here yeah so raise r squared to the left and you have x equals x uh, it is given so we have this expression express y in terms of x so we're using this idea and 4 is 2 squared so 2 squared means half logarithm x over 2 half logarithm 2x over 2 uh, if you then you can ta again take power of 2 this will be y times ok so let's see what it looks so y times square root of x square root of 2x and equals 1 then you get the answer. Right. Easy. Uh, then you should find region is bounded by graph. The axes are from 1 to A. We alpha, we should find alpha. The area is square. So we should find definite integral of the function that we just found. So this is a definite integral. Logarithm of 1 is 0, so we have this expression, so a equals exponent squared. Finished. Thank you very much for your attention.
see you next time next time i hope will be paper two